I just returned from a spectacular day in Stewart, Florida this morning, which is located on the treasure coast of Florida. I didn't even want to take the time to go to my studio to record. I thought I would sit outside in this magnificent tropical paradise and give you some great ideas on what you can do here on a lazy Sunday morning or afternoon for free. And yes, this is my backyard. Plus, at the end of this video, I will tell you about one thing you need to to do to prepare when you decide to visit this charming area. I have lived here for many years, yet I have never grown tired of looking at the beautiful waterways as I maneuver around the area. I just feel so blessed to live in paradise. And Stewart has a terrific downtown known for its charming small town atmosphere and historic architecture. In fact, most people are so surprised at how friendly everybody is here. This area has antique stores, art galleries, unique specialty shops, restaurants, cafes, and so much more. It is also home to several annual festivals and a popular destination for both locals and visitors. It is also a great place to explore and experience the history and culture of this beautiful area. So today, after church, my husband and I decided to head to downtown to the Stewart Green Market. That's the first stop we made because that comes alive every Sunday from 8 a.m. to noon or until 2 p.m. in season, which season for us is typically January through March. And this is free. This area is located on the St. Lucie River, which adds to the ambiance as you walk around and enjoy the breezes off the water, watching the boats go by and people enjoying walking along the river walk. Upon entering this festive area, there is a variety of produce, plants and flowers, as well as homemade crafts, clothing, jewelry, and other products. And actually, when I was there, I bought some wonderful hand scrub from one of these local vendors and I can't wait to use it. There are also numerous food vendors at the market offering a variety of baked goods, Goods, sandwiches, fresh fruits and vegetables, and other treats. In addition to shopping, the Stewart Green Market is also a popular place for people to sit and enjoy live music. The market often features local musicians and bands providing a really festive party atmosphere for all of us. Well, we decided to enjoy some of this great handmade food. I actually had a lobster roll, or if I was from the East, I guess I would call it lobster roll, and it was tremendous and I couldn't resist having a mimosa since I was in that laid back mindset while listening to music. There were families with young children enjoying the playground and many people taking Fido for a walk. And yes, this is a dog friendly area. The one thing I cherish about this small town is the friendly people. Most people are so surprised how small town this really is because basically everyone talks to you. As we strolled along talking and looking at the wares in this most beautiful setting, it was actually extraordinary and so relaxing. The temperatures today are in the low 70s, bright blue sky as you can see with a very slight wind. I truly could have stayed there all day except I had some things I really needed to do to get home. When we left there, we actually walked to the Stewart Heritage Museum, which is a great place to learn about the history of Stewart and the Treasure Coast region of Florida. If you are interested in local history or just looking for something interesting to do in Stewart, this is a great place to come and it's free. On this walk, you will note other historical buildings located on the St. Lucie River, which are also very well maintained. Well, we decided to continue to walk into downtown and enjoy the hustle of the people of all ages. They were mingling, talking, sitting, and just enjoying some of the treats and wares that our shops have to offer. Just sitting on the bench and watching the people is entertaining to me. As we continued on this walk, we passed the Stewart Post Office, which is a historic building built in 1935 and is currently the home of Cafe Martier, where they have an excellent brunch, happy hour, food, and entertainment. As you continue down the street, you will pass the Lyric Theater, a historic building built in 1926 and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and inside is the newly renovated 500 seat theater where there are all sorts of great shows from acting to music that comes to this area. If you decide to stay for a while each Sunday, there is a band on the Riverwalk which is located right next to 
the Boathouse restaurant where you can enjoy whatever the band of the day is. It could be jazz, rock, or maybe country, depending on what week it is. There is nothing like sitting by the water, taking in the entertainment, and just enjoying this beautiful weather. In addition, this area is known for its 22 miles of beautiful beaches, waterways, and 77 parks, and is called the sailfish capital of the world. We have all sorts of fishing from recreational to deep sea. Don't have a boat? That's not a problem. Surf fishing is prevalent in this area, and if you have the equipment, it's almost free after the cost of some bait. Well, remember I mentioned that there is one thing you need to consider when coming to Stewart? Well, that's our parking. I have to tell you, it is so frustrating. It is very difficult to find a parking place near downtown. Typically, it is almost impossible to get a spot close by. However, there is an answer. We have a tram that will pick you up and take you to this area, making parking a little bit further not so bad. You can easily Google Stewart Tram and the information will pop up. In that information, it'll give you a number that you can call and have them pick you up. Well, if you find this video of interest, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell to receive my weekly videos. If you have any questions about this area, please write them below and I will get back to you right away. Now you know that there are lots of free fun things to do in this area. I even barely hit the surface. Well, I'll be doing other videos on fun things to do in paradise. So stay tuned. And in the meantime, let's go to this video to learn more information about this terrific area. I hope you are enjoying paradise. And if not, you need to think about coming. The only negative is you may never want to leave. So until next time, see you later.